Hey gang, Dan here, MarginallyClever.com. I recently had a hit with a video about crushed ribs, and some of you asked me, well, what's an easy way to make crushed ribs? You got any tips? So here I am with a few little uh, secrets that I have figured out. So here's a circular object, and I want to add ribs on the inside of this edge. I'm going to pick this surface and make a draft. A little line out like so, and then I can mirror this line around this line. Tip here is to make sure that this goes right up to the edge. If you see a little line right here, like the A, that's not good. When you try to draft, it's gonna get mad. So click the edge you wanna draft up to. See that? See that? No, 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 no. Edit this, that's what you want. Okay, so now I got one of these ribs. I pick this feature, I say circular pattern, and I go around here. Now you may notice that my buttons up here do not match yours. I put my most frequent choices. Customize your own, it's, uh, it's good for you. So now I've got these ribs and I want to draft everything. I pick the surface to draft from. Now I could go around here like this and pick out each face one at a time and then rotate and eat. no, okay, I'm not doing that. I'm old, I ain't got a lot of time, I got stuff to do. So instead I go right up to the face like this and like so and I select everything. If I need to, I can unselect some stuff. That's a control click, control click, great. You can do the reverse too. You can select all the faces and then select all the faces on the inside and that way you can get all the ribs on the outside of a circle. Maybe I'll repeat that so you can see what I mean. So now I've got this, all my bits selected and I just have to pick my draft angle. See, and that works really well. If the triangle didn't quite mesh right with the top edge, you'd see a weird glitch appearing right here at the top of this bit and it would repeat around all the ribs. Now, does this work with a circle? Well, let's just check it out, shall we? See, it's a different edge now, so it doesn't, uh, it need to reselect everything, but the principle still works. Select everything, and you can see the draft there is working. Yeah, yep, yeah, it's working. Smaller here, bigger here. But this, this top edge is not fun, in my humble opinion. Okay, I also said that I would do them around the outside and then show how to not select the inside. So I'm going to edit the original sketch, add another little rectangle here, and include that. So now I've got an outside edge. Now I want to get only the outside and not the inside. So I draft, I select this edge, I look at it head on, then I hold control, select everything, then go to select, freeform select, control, draw a little circle. Now none of the inside is selected, all of the outside is selected. I'll let go of that edge and I got my five degrees right here if I want it or two degrees or whatever you like. So I hope that was helpful to you. That's my quick and easy tips how to do crush ribs on inside and outside of circular objects. If that was helpful to you, tag me, give me a shout out, like, share, subscribe. I would love to reblog the cool things that you make. Show me what you got. If you liked all that, check out my site, marginallyclever.com, and I will see you next time. <music>